Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and on this video I'm going to show you what's new on Windows 10 14 uh, 291. Uh, this is a new build that it's available for PC and mobile and there's quite a few changes so let's get right into them. Uh, the first thing we're going to see on this build and it's really exciting for a lot of people is that now we have extensions on Microsoft Edge. Microsoft it's uh, shipping the, uh, the feature a preview um, on, the, uh, on the new browser and there are not too many extensions right now and let me show you right now that uh, if you go to the um, to the settings menu and then we, we have now an extension an extension option and then we click that and we get access to the extension section on the uh, browser uh, right now you have to eventually we're gonna get these extensions through the uh, Windows Store but right now uh, we have to download and install them manually so we get this link to like get extensions we click that and that will take us to a Microsoft site the development for um, uh, site for the Microsoft Edge and the only thing you have to do is uh, um, uh, click uh, the download button for one of the three or just download them all and once you download the file you double click and it will extract and you will get something like this you will get the uh, the folder with all the files from uh, uh, for the extensions once you do that you just come to the extension section and click the uh, load extension button and then just choose the folder and click select and it will load the um, extension right here on the list um, I have installed the uh, only three available uh, extensions for Microsoft right now and we have the uh, Reddit enhancement suite which makes it um, uh, enhance the uh, experience when you're on the Reddit site and we also have the um, uh, mouse uh, gestures that will help you to get um, a better experience when you when using a touch screen so you, you get a lot of um, uh, gestures that you can use with your fingers and as you know the uh, uh, the Edge browser right now doesn't have too many, doesn't have a lot of features uh, for touch enabled devices. And we also get the Microsoft Translator, which basically uh, is the same um, extensions that you will get uh, with uh, Google Chrome. It will just translate the, uh, uh, the web page, the content that you're seeing to your native language. So, but one thing that's uh, uh, worth pointing out is uh, that you also, that we also have the um, the gear button to get to access to the settings for a particular uh, extensions we can uh, for this uh, particular extension we can uh, show the button on the uh, on the address on the address bar as you can see right now if I disable if I just yeah, turn it off and uh, gets rid of the uh, the button then we click and then we show it we can uh, remove the extension this way as well but we can also on certain uh, extensions we can right click and have the uh, the same the same options but on others we only have the option when we right click we only have the options to uh, remove the uh, the extension so let me show you really quick if we go to let's see right right here I have uh, let's go to uh, Bing on Spanish and let's do a search for Microsoft just so you see that now it, it, the, all the content is on Spanish but now we get the uh, the button of the uh, translator uh, extension we click that and would automatically get translated into English and that's pretty much all that is for this one uh, let's see the uh, mouse gestures yeah uh, we can get to the settings uh, in this computer, I don't have a, uh, a touch screen, so I, I can't show you. But these are all the uh, gestures that uh, you can use right now, um, which is a uh, pretty uh, quite quite a few gestures that you can use. So that's really nice. And if we go to Reddit, Reddit.com, let's see if this one. This works. And as you can see, we have the. Uh, this is how the uh, the suite works now we load and you see like a dark theme that's coming from the extension like if we click the uh, um, the settings uh, option we click and we switch it to uh, a light mode so this is all the extensions you actually don't have this option when you go to reddit.com 
uh, other features that Microsoft is adding into Microsoft Edge and now we can right click a tab and pin it right there so when you close and reopen the uh, the browser we get those pin tabs when, once you don't need it anymore just right click and you can um, choose the unpin the tab to uh, to get the same time as always and there is also a new option that you can uh, paste and go so like if you copy a link instead of just pasting the uh, uh, the link and having to press enter or ok we just click the uh, paste and go and it automatically will paste the link or whatever is that you have on the clipboard and you will try to execute that um, uh, uh, that uh, that content or that link so that's basically all that's uh, new on Microsoft Edge now let's move on to uh, some more uh, small changes and those are happening on the uh, settings app um, Microsoft is updating every and every, and every uh, on every uh, on every bill or mostly on every bill. It's um, e either moving more settings from control panel, migrating them to the uh, settings app, or uh, tweaking the uh, settings that we already have there. So, for example, right now on bill fourteen two ninety one, we can go to uh, system storage and we go to the uh, the hard drive on your computer that has the uh, Windows install on it and if we go to uh, temporary files we're going to see that Microsoft is re uh, really signing to the maintenance and delete files from from your computer so if uh, it's taking a little bit of time and now you can see this is the, um, the new way to get rid of um, temporary files so we can if you want to make more space inside of your hard drive and delete or delete the previous version of uh, Windows, you just click that. Uh, we can also empty the recycle bin, download stuff from the download folder, and all temporary files. You just select them all, and we click remove files, and it will remove it. And you know, right now I will get around like 20 gigabytes, uh, well, actually 15, 15 gigabytes, around 15, 16 gigabytes of uh, uh, more space. Which is really nice uh, for uh, to have this option, even more for devices that are limited on a space. Also on network and in, on internet, on Wi-Fi now, Microsoft has moved all the advanced settings, uh, which included the uh, Wi-Fi Sense and the uh, paid uh, Wi-Fi services. They are moved now to the. Uh, uh, to the Wi-Fi section uh, before we have to uh, have to click the advanced settings uh, link to go to the page with uh, all these options but now uh, Microsoft have moved them uh, in here so that's basically all that's new on the settings app so let's move to other changes um, there is a lot of fixes and bugs um, and known issues on this bill and I'm not gonna name them all because there are quite a few uh, you can actually uh, use the, uh, the link below to a post with all the details but Microsoft is also updating some of the uh, the apps uh, built-in apps uh, on the operating system um, for example now we have the um, actually Microsoft is like merging the uh, the uh, Windows feedback and the uh, insider hub apps and now uh, we we only have one app and that's called the uh, uh, feedback hub app and let me show you right now that the, the app actually combines all the features from both uh, applications but Microsoft adding some uh, uh, new features as well and new features will be coming uh, in the future for example like this is the uh, the new app which like if you've been using and submitting your feedback to Microsoft uh, it will look different and uh, if this is uh, the first time you're using it, it everything is going to look new to you either way uh, so this is how the uh, new feedback app uh, looks like now we have a front and center uh, search uh, search box where you can just type your feedback and it will do a search and 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 see if, and so you can see if other people have the same issue same issues so you can just upvote out, upvote the um, uh, the feedback uh, or you can just uh, continue enter, uh, um, entering your feedback and sending it into Microsoft. So we have a uh, what's new section that uh, 
uh, Microsoft is going to um, list uh, announcement and uh, quest that you can uh, do on the operating system all in one fee and if we go to let's see like if we just type Windows 10 crashes that will take us to the um, uh, to the feedbacks and let's see if I let, let's say I was I was going to report uh, this um, fit that right here so instead of sending a new one I'll just clip uh, the outboard and I don't I don't have to um, I should need a, another feedback and if you don't see your uh, feedback list you just click the uh, add new feedback and this this section also has been redesigned uh, before we had an options to take a screenshot but Microsoft removed that and now we we can actually um, uh, take our own screenshot and just attach the screenshot to uh, to the feedback and send them to Microsoft. So and then uh, pretty much we have all the same uh, features that we had before and on both apps. So there's not a lot new in there. So that's what's new on the feedback app. And let's move to the alarms and clock. Uh, this is another app that Microsoft is updating and now they um what they did is uh, they redesigned uh how you add new alarms so everything looks the same on the app but now when we click new uh, we get this new uh, user interface with a new time picker and, and a different way to pick the uh, uh, different options so that's pretty much what's what's all new on this app and let's move to the uh, maps. Maps has been uh, redesigned completely and now it's like lighter and it's faster and the interface looks different as well. So now we have all the navigation on the top instead of the side. We makes it a lot easier uh, to navigate and it, you can actually use it as a web browser. This It works in the same way. Let's say if we um, let's let's look let's look for a place you know like now each uh, search will uh, be saved right here on the top you can actually do multiple let's see um, uh, Lone Island let's do that and you see like every time you look for a new place it will convert it into a new tab and I don't know if you pay attention to, but there is also um, the searches, they overlay over each other. And now we can see right now, this is the um, the uh, the other layer that uh, from the other search. So like if we move right here, you see that's, that's where we looked earlier. And this is what we have right now. And they're both right there on the, uh, on the screen, which is really nice. On this update, uh, there is um, turn by turn uh, directions uh, using Cortana's voice so if you have Cortana enabled you'll be able to get her uh, tell you the turn, uh, turn by turn direction there is a lot of uh, um, other tweaks and changes on this um, app and those are happening under the uh, the hood but this is pretty much how the, uh, the, the new uh, app looks like uh, finally Another uh, little change it's happening on the uh, start menu. So now a lot of people are not seeing this, but it's happening on my uh, on my installation now. Not only we have the uh, context menu for uh, File Explorer, but we also have um, for the settings. We we also have uh, the the same uh, context menu. So Microsoft it might be doing some uh, A/B testing. But um, I have it, so I just wanted to show it to you and point it out. So that's new. There's nothing else new on the on the start menu. And one thing, uh, finally, one thing I noticed today, uh, while I was getting ready for uh, to uh, to make this video, is now automatically we have this uh, 3D objects section. I think this was already on the operating system, but uh, somehow they got pinned automatically. It's a lot of things that are happening automatically nowadays on Windows 10. And we have um, access to a lot of um, 3D objects that uh, if I had a 
3D printer, I'll be able to uh, print them out. So um, that's all that's new on Windows 10 1491. And let's see. There's one more thing that I forgot. I didn't see it last time for the uh, uh, for the previous build, and I just want to point it out really quick. If we go to settings, and we also have now the uh, uh, get phone notifications options. Uh, before it was called the uh, miss call uh, miss calls uh, notifications uh, notification option, but now that has been updated, and we only can have uh, uh, miss calls uh, notifications from your phone. But uh, Cortana now even can tell you when the battery is slow and if if there is some notification from apps or you have a missed uh, text. If you have the same option enabled on your phone, you'll be able to get those notifications on your computer, which is really nice. So that's, uh, that's all that's new on Windows 10. I really hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. And don't forget to like the... Uh, to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't done, done it yet. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.